Hello, that's my 1965 Volkswagen Beetle that I am currently repainting. As you can see, it has been primed, uh, stripped of the fenders. They have been removed there. It's one, two, three, and that's the fourth one. And <clears throat> I've already uh, covered the windows, removed the door handles, rubbers on the hood and the deck lid. Uh, as you can see, I've transformed our garage into a makeshift uh, paint booth. I've placed the newspapers there to so that the paint won't stick to the walls, thereby saving me from my mother. There. As you can see, the engine has been covered as well. And. Uh, this is my test coat to see if the paint, uh, if if I am going to like the the, the paint, the, the shade of red, and I, I think it looks pretty good. There's the fender. I've covered the wheels, and uh, I've sanded it down. Uh, and I, I believe I'm ready for the base coat. Okay. So now, I'm done fixing my paint, so uh, I always use, uh, I've recently discovered pala that <coughs> rubber gloves are very very handy when it comes to painting, as so as old clothes. So, so if you can see, I have some rubber gloves here, uh, they're already full of paint from the mixing process. So here's the other hand, there. So, and, and uh, it has saved me a lot of time when it comes to clean up. So, just give me one second. I'll show you the paint as it is ready already uh, mixed. So, here's the filter paint. I've used Ansel. Uh, I don't know if my ratio is correct, but I used one part paint, two, pi two parts thinner, and then... The, the appropriate portion of catalyst so this is uh, I don't have any mixing uh, professional mixing gallons or whatnot so I've just used an old uh, oil container I think this is a castrol bottle four liter bottle I put a hole in it on top and there I mix my paint so so that's the paint mixture and this is the filter what I do is I always uh, I try to filter out using this fine cloth so this is the filter one to make sure that there are no sediments in my final paint and uh, I've used as you can see I've used one of our old spoons big ladles I think for mixing the paint so thanks ma so there so we're going to start the painting process. I'm, I'm using, it's very important that you use this respira respirator. So I think it's, uh, this is an, th this prevents you from inhaling the fumes. It's really handy when it comes to painting. I've been painting for, for years now using rattle guns and, and uh, I didn't use any of these. And this has really been a blessing when I discovered using this. Uh, and then I'm, I'm currently wearing some old clothes uh, so that cleanup will be easier as well and some old long sleeves so so pardon me when you see me painting and you will see a man in in rags so Paint, new paint on my spray gun. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to start here, and then I'll try to light up.
Okay. After two hours, here's how it look like, looks like. Uh, here's the initial coat. There's still some rough edges uh, and rough surfaces, I mean, and <clears throat> some uh, areas for improvement, like there, you see a little aspect of white there. But overall, I think uh, we're good for the primary coat. We are going to spray on another coat. I'm going to buff this. Wait for a couple of days. I think uh, one, one to two days for the paint to dry. And then I'm going to rub it with sandpaper. Wet sand. It uh, with wet sandpaper. And then afterwards, we're going to apply, apply another coat. Two to three coats of fire red. And hopefully that will iron out the defects and then afterwards we're going to top it with clear coat okay now uh, I'm already done painting I've already cleaned the gun I'm already in the process of cleaning the gun I mean because the cap is still uh, dirty on the outside but it's fairly clean on the inside already uh, the the gun is right here dismantled. I've already cleaned on one of the 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 the, uh, the part of the nozzle, the part of the nozzle. I don't know what that's called. And there we go. Today is already a done day. Uh, look at my hands. I just removed my gloves. Still clean. So thanks to the um, rubber gloves, it's already in the trash. And uh, there we go.